Hey everyone, welcome back to part 14 of topic three in our database class. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do searches in your SQL statements based on partial values by using the SQL like statement. So what's really nice about the like keyword is that it allows us to do a search based on partial input. Uh, put differently, it allows us to do a wildcard search. So we can specify a few characters and find similar matching values. Let's take a look at a couple of different examples of this in order to clarify. Now in the structured query language, we have a couple of different symbols that we can use for wildcard purposes. The one that is typically most useful and the most common is the percent sign, okay? And uh, this means that uh, we can match multiple characters. Okay, and I'll give you examples of this momentarily. I know it's hard to understand when you just see it in text form, but we can contrast that with the underscore shown here, which in the structured query language is a, a placeholder for a single wildcard character. Okay, so the percent sign represents zero to many unknown characters or other characters. And the underscore represents exactly one unknown character or wildcard character. So let's see examples, and this will hopefully clarify these issues. In the first case, what I am showing is an example of a partial match. And you can see in this case, what we're trying to get is the employee ID from the employee table of all employees whose names begin with the letters DA. Okay, so here we see the like keyword, and then we specify our, our filtering criteria inside single quotes because it's textual. Right? And uh, you can see here we're using the percent sign, which means zero or more additional characters, whatever they may be. So this particular example would return employee IDs for employees who are named, I don't know, like Dan or David or, I don't know, Dorothy, any, and basically anybody who's, I can think of all kinds of them, don't wit, my colleague, anybody whose name starts with the letters DA would be a valid record according to this particular wildcard search that we see here. Okay. So as long as the first two letters are DA, that will be a valid match and the associated employee ID would be returned. Okay. So these are just some examples of what would match there. And again, this is a multiple character wildcard. Percent sign means zero or more additional characters. So if we compare that to these results here, you see that it doesn't really matter how many additional characters you have, zero or more, it's just that the first two letters match, right? In this case, DA is what we're interested in. Cool. Let's take a look at the next one. This is the underscore one. And as I mentioned a moment ago, an underscore represents a single unknown or additional character. Okay, so in this case, we're using a phone number pattern and uh, it's very common in North America to have phone numbers listed in this way, using like a hyphen or a dash to separate the area code and then the more local code. And then the specific line number is an additional four numbers. So this would match any additional four numbers, but this first part must be exact. Okay. So this could match 657-278-1234 or 0001 or 9999. Whatever it may be, it's just that this first part must match and the remaining part must be exactly four additional characters. So each underscore represents one additional character. So with that in mind, let's uh, maybe see some live examples of some of these capabilities. So I don't know, let's just take a look here briefly at some of the things that we have out here in our little employees database. We'll just query everything out of the employee table. And since we're learning SQL, we'll just write SQL statements to do it. So show me everything in the employee table. I'll run that, get all of our employees. 
And just for the sake of illustration, I see out here that I have, I don't know, I've got a couple of people whose first names begin with C and I have a few people whose names end with E or A. So we'll do some searches like that. Right, let me open up a new query so that we can keep that result set available for our purposes. All right. So let's see an example of searching for anyone whose name starts with the letter C. Now we can do something like this using our light keyword. Oops, I got to specify what I want to say first name, first name, and then we just put a C in there. And then in this case, we'll use a percent sign to indicate any additional characters. And if we run this, we'll see that our set of results that we get matches on the first name, basically anyone that starts with C. So it doesn't matter if it's Caesar or Coriolanus, they get returned as the result, right? Now, what if we're interested in something a little weirder, a little odder, like give me information about any employee whose name ends with the letter E. So in that case, we could do something like this, right? Percent E, remember this idea means any number, zero to many additional characters. And then in this case, it would end with the letter E. So if we run this, we'll get a set of employees and we can see their first names end with the letter E. Okay. And we can do additional interesting things. Like for example, maybe we want to find records where an employee's last name contains the letter H. And in that case, we might do a search that looks something like this. So we can say any number of characters, zero to many, and then the letter H, and then zero to many additional characters. So in this case, we're doing a wildcard search on both sides of our letter of interest. And so if we find this, we'll see that we get any last name that contains the letter H. Here's one that has a couple of H's in it. This one has one H in it. And this one has H right at the beginning. So with this in mind, I'm sure that you can begin to appreciate how many of these common websites that you may use provide you with a list of possible matches, right? So just as an illustrative example, maybe I'll pull up our web browser here, maybe go to Wikipedia. And that's one that I know happens to have that behavior and I'll share my screen. So here's Wikipedia should look somewhat familiar to most of us. And if you use this little search box up here and we start uh, typing things like we type in a few early characters, I can type in full and I start to get results and you can see how it's this SQL like can be used to generate this set of partial matches based on what I've typed in. But the more I type, the more specific my list of results becomes, right? But you can see here it's highlighted all of the matching results. And then it's like any additional number of characters. So Fullerton, California, Fullerton college, Fullerton, India, credit company limited, and so on and so on. So we do these partial matches with a like keyword.